Okay, so Kevin reached out to you. You said, you know, it's sort of a roller coaster began. When did you hear their show? I'd listened to the show, I reckon, during that, that, that week just after I got back from Honeymoon. And I was like, right, I need to listen. I need to find out a bit more about this. I watched Kevin at Comic Con. I listened to the podcast. And I was still kind like, of thinking maybe he blurbed you. I well, assume, or had you now known that, like, he did a whole hour on you or whatever he did? Yeah, well, I mean, I was I was intrigued. I'd obviously, <laughs> I'd heard, I'd seen quite a lot in, like, the British papers and heard quite a bit and that. But, yeah, it's the first time I was just like, oh, my God, this is, this is, this is a whole show about my, my <laughs> advert, about the walrus, about That's the walrus man. So brilliant, too. Your ad was brilliant, you know, and then what they did with it, was you know just blow it open i mean it's something else entirely you know i mean from that point from uh, from from the uh, lodger wanted to task is, uh, but it <laughs> wrote itself you know what i mean like them even goofing around just it wrote itself <laughs> it was amazing yep. it's such genius <laughs> it's a film that suddenly had to be made yeah and it's a, this is this to me one of the things that i talk about a lot on the show is sort of this magical element that seems to follow Kevin Smith in his life. And this is just one of them, I think. This sort of like, you just kind of place an ad, he just kind of gets on Smodcast and goofs around with it on, you know, with with Scott Mosier. Next thing you know, it's a script. You know, I mean, it's just, that is... There is some sort of muse just running through the universe through you guys on this one. It's, it yeah, fascinates yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's certainly, definitely wasn't expecting that to happen. But um, I, I, I know what you mean because it is just sort of DIY all the way and not, not, not just sort of playing by the rules. So. Hang on now. Now, your reaction, you know, Kevin comes to you and says, okay, I want to make this into a movie. What, what's your thought? What, what do you say? I mean, I think it's amazing. I mean, to be honest, he'd already started making it into a movie. <laughs> I was, I was well up for it. I mean, it's. Um, you could you have know. been a prick. I mean, the honest truth is, you probably could have been a prick. You probably could have been like, "Fuck you! This is my idea." <laughs> no, I mean that that is that is true. That is true. But um, you know, the. You're amazing, dude. You're an amazing guy. <laughs> And I think it's partly as well, you know. It it, it needed to be a movie by that point, That's and so. uh, I certainly I certainly can't do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so brilliant. Uh, what what is quite funny is that a lot of people here in Brighton just think that this is the ultimate prank. This is the ultimate twist of the prank. <laughs> faked up and photoshopped Kevin Smith into my walrus story. Ah, uh, um, they really, really, they don't get it yet. Well, yeah, wow, they're in for certainly when I was. Uh, I, tweeted the picture of me and Kevin that he took from out there and I was just like blatantly photoshopped <laughs> because um, yeah 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 that would be the uh, the ultimate culmination of the prank but no I mean I think it's a I think it's fantastic it's and, so funny yeah. because you when I saw the picture of you you looked exactly like what I thought you would look like you know what I mean I don't know you just look <laughs> like like some sort of like zen spirit of goofiness out there I don't know <laughs> A merry prankster. There you go. <laughs> you look like someone I would, you know, who would address themselves as a poet and a prankster. <laughs> Only recently. <laughs> Generally kept, kept quiet about the pranks till these all burst into the open. <laughs> yes, your cover's been blown. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the thing. I'd sort of been, been, been outed by a local Brighton magazine before, um, before this, um, before the whole Kevin Smith thing kicked off, which was... Um, which which is quite interesting because I don't know quite what would have happened if I hadn't been outed. It would have been, uh, you know, to suddenly sort of like, as soon as somebody's like, right, I'm going to make a movie about this, to suddenly sort of like leap out and uh, be like, oh, right, come me in, that's my idea. <laughs> Rather than just sort of like sending these things out anonymously. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but no, I don't, I don't they, they, they actually, the Source magazine were, were instrumental in bringing some of them, this stuff to the, uh, to the wider world. And they've, uh, they've been fantastic, but, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it was certainly a surprise. Um, but no, I mean, you know, I'm full, you know, 
I didn't see the script till I got out there. And so there was that little sort of like nagging doubt, like, I hope it's a good script. You know, <laughs> obviously it's pretty cool. They want to make my, my ridiculous walrus ad into a movie. But, <laughs> and then I read the script and it was just like, yeah. And then you... It's good to me. And then... It's a good film. How did it feel to know that Johnny Depp's in the film? Well, that was, um, you know, this is obviously, um, I have, I've not seen it uh, confirmed nor denied from anyone, but no, I did possibly comment. No, no, I did, I did hear, hear various rumours, and it's, yeah, <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's certainly a uh, turn up for the books. <laughs> I, can't, I can't really believe that. But, yeah, you don't uh, want to be the guy who adds it, I'm sorry. But here, for the <laughs> listeners, here's what I can tell you. Uh, no, no. It's... Well, you, can, you can read all sorts of things on the internet <laughs> yes, about it. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, Definitely. What is funny is that my sister was working on a um, on a film here in Pinewood that uh, had Johnny Depp in at the time, and so um, once uh, once the rumor started going around, she was just like, Are "We are yeah, working with the same." I, like, I couldn't possibly comment, but um, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's it certainly should that be proved to be the case. It's very very exciting. Had you seen any of Kevin's films prior to this? Oh. God, yeah. Okay, no, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I think a lot of people of uh, of my generation grew up on uh, on Kevin Smith. So I'd certainly, I'd, I, I, I don't think I've still seen them all, but I've seen most of them, and I've seen a lot of them quite a few times. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, I hadn't seen Red State until he, uh, until about a week before I um, before I flew out there. Amazing, and wasn't it? So I watched Red State, and I was like, oh my god, this is going to be bloody amazing. Fucking and of course, it's got Michael Parks in as well. Yeah, and you're like, that's the Walrus guy. That's going to be. <laughs> the old man yeah 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 but no i mean clerks mall rats dogma stuff like that so you know grew up with that stuff and it's uh I'm always so... been a bit of a inspiration so no it's uh... i'm so psyched to see this film too i can't wait <laughs> can't wait uh gene who unfortunately usually she sits in and and can be around for a lot of the interviews uh, that genie's been emailing me yeah yeah i'm so sorry she couldn't be she's very sorry she couldn't be here but yeah 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 no i bet, I but, bet. but she said uh uh, Rufus Moonshine question <laughs> mark. What is that? Oh, uh, that's um, that, that that's an alter ego that um, that I don't really use very often. But I always forget that it's still the name on my personal email. <laughs> um, I've got a uh, I've got I've got a grown up email, but it's um, it's too much of a fast logging in and logging out. So after the first couple of emails I switch over to my uh, to my real one and uh, yeah. Rufus Moonshine pops up. Moonshine was the name of my um, I do a show in Brighton Fringe this year. Um, like a full length poetry show and that was called Moonshine. But um yeah, it's it's um I think these days I've um after after many years of doing poetry and things on, under a succession of aliases and uh, different bands and stuff like that, I've I've settled on, you know, you get you you get into your thirties and it's like well, maybe it's time to start using my real name. <laughs> um so no, Rufus Moonshine is a um, What does that mean for me who's forty four? <laughs> But I use my real name. So what, tell us about your poetry. Well, it's something I've been doing for about 10 years now. And, um, you know, as it it's, has its ups and downs, I don't think I'm ever going to make a living as a poet. Yeah. But there's, a, um, there's, a, there's a great, great poetry scene in Brighton. And I've performed all over the UK at various times. I've put out three books. It's, um, it's, um, it's something that I've been, been doing for a long time. Mostly out of, after spending a lot of my youth in... Uh, in bands and breakcore acts and stuff like that and realising that I didn't have a sense of rhythm and I wasn't very good at relying on <laughs> other band members to tell me how to write songs that I just was just like, oh my God, I discovered this world of poetry where you can just set your own rhythm and you don't have to rely on anyone else showing you how to play bass. And that was 10 years ago. And since then, it's, um, it's, it's something I've really got into. So now I've been, uh, I've been doing that for a long time. And um, with various sort of degrees of success, but um, do you incorporate yeah. music and all that, or do you do you just do it dry? Uh, it... Not really. No, no, no. Again, I would if I had a sense of rhythm. But <laughs> um, I've done I've done some some live shows and that. I've done uh, there's some there's some fantastic bands here in Brighton and that. So I've done um, it's a band called AKDK that I've done a couple of collaborations with at festivals and that. But usually it's uh, it's just me on a stage with a microphone. 
loving the sound of my own voice when it's amplified. No bongos in the in the background. Uh, no, no, not quite, not quite. And, um, you know, did, didgeridoos neither. It's, um, uh, if you come to the States, I can, I can do a little bongos for you in the background. Well, that would be fantastic. We could have a bit of a, uh, bit of a jam. That'd be cool. <laughs> is, is there any plans to come here for promotion of the film or anything like that? Or are you just sort of, I'm kicking back and, you know, no, take it? No, no, no. I'm, um, I've, I've been, I've been, I've been in touch with, uh, with Kevin and hopefully I will, uh, hopefully I'll make it over for a premiere. Mm-hmm. Um, which is very exciting. You yeah, know, he certainly mentioned that at the time, so I'm uh, I'm very excited about that. Are you uh, aware of the shooting clerks guys? The shooting clerks guys. Yeah, in a bunch of guys from Scotland are, you know, right now filming there a making of clerks documentary. Okay. You should reach out to them. You should you'd be a great cameo, <laughs> man. The filming and making of clerks documentary, though. Is it yes. what they're pretending to be filming the making of clerks? Exactly. I mean, it, it yeah. is an it's the ultimate homage. They're doing like it's a bio documentary. You know, they're doing the backstage. They're showing you know what <laughs> Kevin's story and the whole thing. Yeah, amazing. They've been on the show. They're actually a bunch a bunch of cool guys. And the fact that one of them's an American from New Jersey in right. Scotland, it's just right. mind blowing. No, well, I'll, 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 I'll look them up on the internet, certainly. Oh, you guys, oh, but, wow. I mean, we should hook you guys up. You <laughs> should be a cameo in that damn movie, especially since you're over there. 